Good afternoon, everyone. We begin with breaking news at noon. A Morgan County Sheriff's deputy shot in the line of duty this morning. And just minutes ago, Indiana State Police confirming the teen suspected of firing the shot was found dead inside the home. We know the injured deputy Mallory Swab is in stable and good spirits this afternoon at Methodist Hospital here in Indy. The Morgan County Sheriff's Office posting this photo of Deputy Schwab giving the thumbs up. And we do have team coverage this afternoon as updates continue to unfold. We'll check in with our Sam Johnson to update us on the deputy's condition in just a few minutes. But let's start in Morgan County with our Jenny Renovich, who has more on how this shooting happened and what police are doing right now. Jenny. Yeah, and Matthew, we can tell you that state police just updated us within the last five minutes, letting us know that that teen suspect who was accused of firing the single shot that injured the Morgan County deputy has died. They told us the SWAT team just entered the home where he'd been bar barricaded since 730 this morning and found him deceased. So obviously the situation here is on one hand, police here are very encouraged that the deputy who was shot is not seriously injured, is expected to survive, is in good spirits. But now, on the other hand, we have the teenage suspect in this case who has been found dead inside the home. Give you a little bit lay of the land. We're actually at a meeting staging, a media staging area on Rob Hill Road right now at a fire department. The house where all of this happened is about a mile or two down the road. It's called Beach Grove Road. That's where this unfolded. So we'll show you some video as well. This all started around 7.30 this morning. Investigators say a teenager actually called 911 after spotting a post on social media about another teenager potentially wanting to harm himself. So deputies responded to the home on Beach Grove Road for a welfare check. When they got there, they knocked on the door and nobody answered. And when they walked around the house, investigators say the teenage boy inside the house fired one shot hitting Morgan County Deputy Mallory Schwab. She was shot in the right shoulder, then taken right away to Methodist Hospital in Indianapolis. And since then, SWAT teams from Morgan and Johnson County were at that house trying to get the teenage boy to talk with them, trying to get him out safely. They used some less lethal force like tear gas and bullhorns. He was the only one inside that house. They didn't get any communication, the sheriff tells me, uh, four hours, about four hours until just a few minutes ago when the SWAT team finally went into the home and say they found that teenage boy deceased inside. So uh, obviously a very difficult situation. We are seeing a steady stream of law enforcement back out live here uh, coming and, and SWAT teams kind of coming from that location on Beach Grove Road. But again, uh, the teen suspect accused of shooting Mallory Schwab, uh, a deputy with the Morgan County Sheriff's Department, has been found dead inside that home. We are expecting a news conference with the Morgan County Sheriff later this afternoon. Of course, we will continue to follow it, bring you any updates as soon as we get them. Matthew. All right, our Jenny Renovich reporting for us in Morgan County this afternoon. Meanwhile, Deputy Swab is now recovering at Methodist Hospital here in Indianapolis. That's where we find our Samantha Johnson live this afternoon. She is outside of the emergency department right now. Sam, what are you hearing from officials there? Well, Matthew, I can tell you, we talked to Morgan County Sheriff Rich Myers, and he tells us Deputy Schwab is doing well. We understand she was shot in the shoulder, but she is in good spirits, like we mentioned, and she is expected to make a full recovery. I want to show you some video from earlier today because we were here and we saw Morgan County EMS bringing Deputy Schwab to Methodist Hospital. We understand now she is here with family and fellow law enforcement from Morgan County. We caught up with Sheriff Myers after he had the chance to check in to with his deputy, Deputy Mallory Schwab. Here's what he had to say. Uh, I, I did uh, talk to her before she left and uh, uh, knowing Mallory, uh, she was sitting up in a lot of pain, uh, but I reached in to, to kiss her and hug her. And she said, well, I can't tell you what she said, but she said, don't do that, Sheriff, it hurts. <laughs> so where she was shot, but uh, she's good shape. We're, we're thankful. Sheriff Myers describing his deputy as a go getter. This is the photo he shared of Deputy Schwab just within the last hour or so. We have learned she just joined this department this month. 
but we know Deputy Schwab is a veteran officer there in Morgan County. In fact, she served at the Martinsville Police Department for more than four years. Plus, we've learned she is also in the Army Reserves. It's also important to mention anyone who lives in that area more than likely knows the Schwab family. Deputy Schwab is part of a large family there in Morgan County where so many people know and love her. So, Matthew, it's important to mention the Sheriff's Office today and this afternoon says Deputy Schwab is thanking everyone for the thoughts and prayers for both her and her family so far today, especially as she begins her recovery here at Methodist. All right, our Samantha Johnson reporting live for us this afternoon. Thanks, Sam. Certainly a heartbreaking story uh, for, you know, hearts and thoughts go out to that teen's family. Glad to see that deputy is recovering. Of course, this is a story we will continue to follow this afternoon. Of course, with crews at the scene and the hospital, we'll continue to bring you the latest updates online at WTHR.com as well as 13 News at 4 o'clock.